All right, so we've taken a look at uh, SDR trunk uh, and using it to uh, listen in on uh, P25 phase one. And so I wanted to take, or I've been wanting to take a look at the uh, OP25. Uh, I just noticed recently uh, the dev branch has been updated to work with um, GNU Radio 3.8 and uh, Python 3, which is uh, default in Dragon OS uh, Focal. So uh, I went ahead and put all this together, um, updated uh, Dragon OS ISO the other night or so uh, to R9. And so everything's built in there, but let's take a look. Um, it's running in the background. Uh, you can probably hear some of the audio coming across, but let's, let's take a look. Uh, let me exit out of here and we'll clear this out and take a look how I did this here um, first off everything is in the user source OP25, OP25, uh, GROP25 repeater apps folder and that's where we're going to do most of what we need to do and uh, so I've only um, set this up for P25 uh, phase one and I'll just go ahead and point it out. There's a really good guide that I kind of used here, uh, the OP25 for dummies. Uh, I modified some of uh, what was um, said here uh, until it worked with uh, my setup. So uh, we're going to, uh, I'll use this as a reference, um, but uh, some of the things that we need to do to get started is uh, we'll be editing the trunk.tsv file. Uh, well, it comes by default with a trunk.tsv and a tompkins.tsv uh, file as uh, examples. And so what I did was uh, I copied, I'll just show you an example. I copied them uh, to my uh, home Dragon uh, desktop and, you know, it resulted in uh, both the trunk.tsv file and then I just renamed the Tompkins, copied it to my desktop and named it test.tsv. And since there really wasn't a good way of editing um, spreadsheets in DragonOS, I went ahead and did an app git install Libra Office. And that's already in, um, in installed for the purposes. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, so that's already installed for the purposes of this video, but uh, that's like 700 megs. So, probably a better way uh, to get just uh, an editor. Uh, for the purpose of this, but that's what I did. And so with the trunk.tsv uh, file on the desktop, you need to fill it in with some information. Um, and to get the uh, what you need, I used uh, this command here, and I specified the control frequency, which uh, in my case, I found that 857.3125 worked. So that's what I used from the OP uh, dummies uh, or for dummies guide and put in 8573125. Uh, and uh, this is for the RTL SDR. And I just used this to help me get what I need at first. And I'm doing this again in the same directory. I have my RTL SDR plugged in. And it'll start up. And let's see, let me exit out. <clears throat> sometimes that dash Q1 uh, is fine, sometimes not. Uh, still, you know, learning uh, about this uh, software. So what I'm looking for, though, is this NAC right there. So I'll copy that, and I will open the trunk.tsv file with LibreOffice. I'll leave everything as is, the Unicode, um, everything selected. I'll hit open. And what I did was um, left the system name as is. You can name that whatever you want. Control channel list, I just stuck with the 857.3125. I put the NAC that I just showed uh, there. I left the modulation as is. Again, there's uh, options that you can set here. Um, and it may just depend on what you're trying to uh, set this up for. And then the uh, talking uh, talk groups. Uh, let me see. 
which you can find on the uh, radio reference page. And if you have an account, obviously it works way better because uh, you can get uh, a, a spit out of that and you're going to need this information and I'll, I'll show you where we set that up. But I made uh, that test.tsv file, so I reference it here and that's for the talk groups. I go ahead and save. I save it as a text.csv format and I'll close out of that. And then that Tompkins.tsv file, it's already filled with a lot of information. Uh, I just renamed it to this test.tsv file, and it would have had a, you know, a whole bunch of entries in the column A and B. And just to test this out, uh, you know, I, I want the uh, DEC DEC uh, in column A, and then probably just the tag here in B. So when it's uh, spitting out the talk groups, it will reference and you can... Uh, see what is what. So I'll close out of that and let's see and I'll close out of this for a second and so really um, having those two files set up is all I really did uh, for right now and then I messed around with um, some of the ways that I have saw on the internet to run uh, and I came up with this uh, here, let's see if we can. So, I've used uh, this option here, let me back out of that a second, let's look a little closer, so I'm calling the rx.py, I've got the args for the RTL SDR, my gains, uh, the sample rate, and some of these, uh, that's like verbose, that's the, uh, uh, you can take a look at rxpy-h. And let's see what we got here. Verbose, the Q is frequency correction, uh, dash 2, phase 2 TDMA, dash U for the uh, UDP audio player. I'm referencing, oh yeah, sorry. So the trunk.tsv file and the test.tsv file, I used a sudo, and I copied those from the desktop back to this directory here. Um, overwrote the trunk.tsv file, and you can see the test.tsv file there. Just made it simple. Put them back. I probably could have left them on home because I'm actually referencing the home folder for something else here. Uh, anyways, uh, that's what that is, the dash T, the dash O, because Dragon OS, I'm using Pulse, the audio system, so I referenced that, and then I piped everything out, um, so I didn't have to use sudo, and I was running into some permission issues, I just pumped out a log file right here to the desktop. So, I'm going to copy, paste this, run it. Can see our neck. I'll give it a little bit here, and you'll see it'll start. Uh, oh, yeah, you can use the plot one through six as long as you left click on the uh, terminal, give it a click. You can see, uh, click on the terminal again, click two, so on and so forth. There's uh, different canoe plots that you can look at. And if I sit here long enough. You probably hear that. And if, you know the talk group ID here. If I had all that filled out, I would imagine that that would tell me specifically what talk group that is that I've referenced in the file. Probably 37. You can show me the area. All right, so uh, I'm not going to play a whole bunch of audio here. I know that it works. Um, I know that's kind of quick uh, setup that at least works for the P25 Phase One, and uh, I'll continue to keep this uh, updated and keep an eye on it. Um, there's like a lot of uh, options here, and. Uh, it may be uh, the fact that it uses GNU radio, you may be able to use uh, some more radios with it. I've at least seen it work with the HackRF. 
I was trying the Blade RF, but I wasn't uh, completely sure about um, the args here. Even putting Blade RF equals zero, I uh, didn't like that. So I have to keep checking, uh, but that is now in there and working. All right.